Welcome back. In this video, we will learn mouse actions as well as how to select, include, and modify entries in the entry list. Before we begin, be sure you have imported starter molecules.mae following the steps outlined in the previous videos. The default mouse configuration for MS Maestro is called the Pymal mouse configuration. You can change your mouse settings via the main menu. However, we recommend maintaining the default as all training materials are written for the default configuration. We also recommend using a three button mouse with a scroll wheel. If you do not have access to a three button mouse, an alternative is to hold down the space bar and then use just one mouse button for all mouse actions. Let's return to the workspace. The left mouse button is for selecting and rotating. Left click on any empty space and while holding the button down, drag the mouse to rotate the structure in place. The center mouse button, typically the clickable scroll wheel or trackball, is for translating structures in the workspace. Center click and while holding the button down, drag the mouse to translate the structure. The right mouse button is for right clicking to access additional menus and for zooming in the workspace. Right click and while holding the button down, drag the mouse forward or backward to zoom in or out. You can always refit the structure in your workspace using the fit button in the toolbar or by pressing Z on your keyboard. Notice that MS Maestro includes lots of helpful tooltips revealed upon hovering. Take a moment to rotate, translate, and zoom. Use the fit button to reset at any time. Now that we are familiar with mouse actions, let's hone in on the functionality of the entry list. The entry list currently contains one entry group, which contains four entries. Because a blue circle is filled next to dimethylpyridine, we see its structure in the workspace. We refer to this as the included structure. Whichever structure is included appears in the workspace. Click the empty circle next to the TICL4 entry to include this structure instead of the dimethylpyridine molecule. The circle next to TICL4 is now filled blue and the structure appears in the workspace. When one row is highlighted or several rows are highlighted in the entry list, we refer to these as selected. MS Maestro uses a select first paradigm, meaning that the selected entry or entries are now ready to be operated on with some subsequent task. Practice selecting one or more entry. To select many, use shift and control or command depending on your operating system. Notice that selecting and including are independent, meaning that an entry can be both selected and included, but it can also be just selected or just included. Typically, we will select one or more entries that we wish to perform some sort of modeling task on. More on this in the future. In addition to being able to select entries in the entry list, we also use the term selection to refer to selecting components within the workspace, for example, atoms or molecules. The selection scope is used to indicate the level of selection. For example, if it is set to atoms, then we will be selecting individual atoms in the workspace. If it is set to molecules, we will be selecting molecules, and so on. A letter will appear next to the cursor reminding you of your current selection scope, A for atoms, etc. With the selection scope set to atoms, include the TICL4 entry in the workspace and select one of the chlorine atoms by left clicking on the atom. You'll notice that the selected atom now contains a box around it. Select another using the control or command key depending on your operating system. Again, MS Maestro uses the select first paradigm, so now that these atoms are selected, they are ready to be operated on. In addition to selecting with our mouse, the toolbar also has several useful selection tools built in, including a select all button, a clear selection button, and several custom quick selects. Click the Clear Selection button and then Quick Select Metal Atoms. 
Notice that the titanium atom is now selected. The atom is now selected and we can operate on it. For example, we could change its color to cyan using the style palette. We could also right click to interact with it in other ways. Take some time to practice selecting in the workspace. We will not use these structures in the rest of the training, so have no concern about making any alterations. Finally, let's take a moment to learn about manipulating the entry list in general. There are many possible operations, but let's look at three common ones. First, to change the name of an entry, double click on its name in the entry row and type in a new name. Next, to change the order of the entries, click, hold, and drag. And finally, right click on any entry to access several additional capabilities including splitting, duplicating, deleting, and grouping. Use these capabilities to keep your project organized. In this video, we covered mouse actions as well as how to select, include, and modify entries in the entry list. In the next video, we'll briefly cover getting support and accessing educational materials. See you there!